2.30 in the morning. Like any other film class, you got to start with the basics. It's a video, you idiot. We discuss editing, we discuss frame composition, we discuss coverage, we discuss angles and what they mean. I pulled a prank on Corey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lori couldn't sleep one night and she just started shooting herself. So I said, Lori, it's great. I'm so happy that you wake up at 2.30 and you want to go for your camera, but you always have to remember. What was the one thing you didn't do? Me? Yeah. Turn the lights on. That's right, baby. I was like... I'm the former executive producer of Friends and I'm teaching blind kids how to make movies. I am swinging and videotaping myself. Woo! I didn't know whether or not this whole thing was just going to fall on its face. I don't know if I'm taping myself. Because I'm trying to swing and tape myself at the same time. How do you define a visual frame to somebody who has never seen anything? That the world has been black. There, there, there is no reference point. So I started making this film with three of my students at Perkins, and it's Lori, Ashley, and Michelle. Shorty's like a melody in my head that I can't keep out, got me singing like... I never would have imagined that I would be sitting with these three young women and they would be having a uh, joke-off contest. Uh, who can tell the best blind joke? How is blind dating different? <laughs> it's really blind for you, right? Oh, wow. The first thing that you find out about Michelle is that she doesn't stop talking. <laughs> she always has something to say and is always worth listening to. She has an infectious personality that has the ability to make you love what she loves instantaneously. Sometimes I ask Lori's Lori Cherry White about my Truman Capote impersonation. It's really amusing. Lori is in love with the world and everything in the world, and she wants the world to know that that love is there. Told me, and I was like, "You're on candy camera, honey." When uh, she's in the class, she's talking about all the time all the things that are important to her in her life. Ashley can only be described in one word to me. And that's brilliant. There is nothing that frightens this young woman. So the challenge was really how to teach a visual aesthetic to a blind student. So I went back to the cane. It's sort of their measuring stick for so many things in life. Okay, okay now Michelle, you grab it. I want you to grab it. They stick their cane out uh, straight and they basically find their subject. The subject has to take their cane and raise it up to their shoulder height. Now lift it up towards your head. Now lift the cane up towards your head. Now the camera has to be on the inside of the cane at least as high as their head. And what I want you to do is feel where the lens is because this is where you've been having problems. So you feel, so you want it to be straight like your head, the camera. Okay, now Michelle, talk to him so he can focus on you. Hey. All right, there we go, you got her. Come this way, this way, this <laughs> way, this way. I'm sure, do you trust me? Uh-huh. You know, I, I don't think any of us would, would ever not want to see, but you realize the truth and the honesty of the way they see the world because they're not prejudiced by their eyes. How am I going? Just keep coming. Where are you going, Lori? <laughs> I'm going to get into the house building. Are you There's an effortlessness about this shooting. They almost forget that the camera's in their hand. This is going to be amusing. Always belong <laughs> to someone else. Video allows them the incredible tool of being a storyteller. No matter where they go in the world, they may not have seen a shred of it, but they can capture it and share it with the people when they get back home, just like we all do. You can't see it, but you can hear it. Say if you go to this awesome concert, just being able to hear what is on camera, when I go back, like, three weeks from now, or whatever, and I look at the film, I can be like, 
oh, that was so cool, that was so much fun with Ashley, we were acting like dummies or whatever. At least I'll have that on camera so I can hear it. Any sense of newfound power? Absolutely. Being able to videotape makes me feel like I have this sort of new ability, new power, and I want to show it off to the entire world. I want to be like, check me out, I have a video camera, and I'm going to use it, and I'm going to use it right.